Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Nigel, also known as a Lake Erie vlogger. And today I'm in Hamilton, the wonderful city of Hamilton. Did I just say that? The wonderful city? Okay, I'm just in Hamilton. <laughs> this is what well, used to be called Billington Bay and it was changed in 1919 to Hamilton Harbour. Uh, just over here is the uh, the Skyway, the lift bridge and so on. And as you come through here, uh, Hamilton Harbour, you'll end up here in the city of Hamilton. And there's a reason why I'm here. And I'll tell you in a minute, so let's go and explore. <laughs> folks this is raw sewage millions and millions and millions of liters of raw sewage has been leaking into hamilton harbor for the past nearly 24 25 years uh, oh i'm gonna take that off my face jesus christ Ugh, I, I think i'm gonna be sick when i get home so yeah this is hamilton harbor and uh it was uncovered back in november it was a uh, um, that's what the news broke that there is uh, a leak a sewage leak and uh, 337 million liters of raw sewage has fallen in to this part of the lake. This is uh, Hamilton Harbor, part of Lake Ontario. 337 million liters of untreated sewage uh, from approximately 50 uh, residential properties and business properties uh, just over here somewhere. So that is a lot. That's like, I think I read that's something like 138 Olympic size swimming pools full of shit. Seriously, <laughs> and it's just being dumped in here. Unbelievable. So the leak apparently happened, uh, Wentworth Street and uh, McCallum, and I believe that is just at the end of there. So I don't know where the pipe, where it runs off into, uh, but I'm sure, I don't know if it comes in right there and makes its way out, or there's a pipe that comes out here, but 337 million liters of poop, pee, you name it out, out your, um, what you flush, whatever, is in here. 337 million. Wild. Hamilton Harbor is probably one of the most polluted waterways of the Great Lakes. In, for, on both sides, US and Canadian side. One of the most, if not the most polluted waterways. Uh, it's disgusting. Yeah, you're out here, and just around the corner down there is, is a major park. A lot of boaters come out down here, and they're out in it. I mean, back in the day, 150 years ago, on the Burlington side, people used to bathe here. Then as time went on, industrial uh, units showed up, steel factories and so on. And then we got the chemical plants and they've just created all this pollution. But to make things even worse, on top of that pollution is raw sewage. <laughs>
it gets worse. Did I say 337 million litres of sewage? Make that 400. Uh, January of this year, they found another leak, a slightly smaller one, which accumulated the grand total to over 400 million litres of raw sewage that has been creeping in to Hamilton Harbour for the last 24, 25 years. That is unbelievable. Untreated sewage in here. And just over here is a park where people go swimming, paddling, uh, kayaking, uh, wake um, longboarding, you name it, they're all out here. Uh, paddle boarding, that's what I'm looking for, not, not longboarding. Uh, but yeah, uh, all raw sewage. So all this time people have been coming down here, we knew it was polluted, but to add raw sewage, I'm surprised. No wonder people in Hamilton look the way they do. I didn't mean that, Hamilton, honest. That's a joke, sarcasm. Okay, maybe a little. No, no, it's sarcasm, honest. So, uh, yeah, so uh, unbelievable. Now, to put that into perspective, the size, when you see those massive oil tankers uh, on TV, or if you ever see one in real life, that sail through the Gulf um, of the Middle East, uh, through the Suez Canal, I mean, I'm not talking a ship of that size. I mean, nothing's tiny compared to a super tanker. I'm talking a super tanker. Well, I did my math, and uh, when I converted 400 million liters into US gallons, uh, it came out to be about 250, and it then, then converted that into barrels, uh, what the, like oil barrel, basically. It came out 2.5 million uh, barrels of oil, uh, sewage. It's the equivalent to 2.5 million barrels of oil. Now, the only container that could carry something like that is a super tanker. So imagine a boat like this, full of raw sewage, and it gets into Hamilton Harbour, uh, it just breaks up in pieces and all the contents flood. Ugh, that is basically what's been happening here in Hamilton. Unbelievable. If you're like me, you don't really get to see the nice parts of Hamilton. Uh, I drive down Hamilton occasionally. Uh, you know, you have to go down uh, Jane Street, King Street, and so on. And uh, it's old. Hamilton's a very old city. Uh, but this part of the rejuvenated harbour area is actually very, very nice. It's uh, it's hard to believe that just over there, it's really old and uh, kind of scary, to be quite honest. Um, but this part's nice. It'd be nice to come down here and park up in the car and have a walk around one of these parks and the waterfront here. Uh, much cleaner. Um, these guys are catching fish. I hope they're not going to uh, eat anything. Have you caught a goldfish yet? No. I heard there's goldfish in here. Oh, did you really? Yeah, I read it. I read it. There's an abundance of goldfish in the harbour. Oh, you know what? I read. I read an article about that. Yeah. I did. I read it about two years ago and I just reread it again going, oh my God, it's unbelievable. So I've always known if I found anyone who's actually caught it. I've seen a few fish. Uh, like I've seen some carp, I think, right near the surface. Big ones coming around. Yeah, they've got to be tolerant to all the freaking uh, poop that's in there and all that crap. Yeah. Anyway, good, good fishing, guys. Take care. Hey? You want a lens on? I don't have a spare vest with me. Oh. If you had a life vest, you can jump on. People wanting a ride now. Workers uh, doing the, uh, uh, the city works, trying to get a ride. I had to ask the question about the goldfish. See, look, you come down here and all of a sudden, it's like, it's hard to believe this is Hamilton. <laughs> when you drive downtown Hamilton, it's, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to be horrible here, folks, but it's scary. Downtown Hamilton is scary. There is some really nice parts once you go outside of the downtown, but downtown, is, it's, uh, it reminds me of like 1970s, early 1980s Manchester, uh, before it kind of got the facelift after the IRA bomb, and it kind of became a really nice city after that. Uh, but Hamilton downtown is stuck in like an old world, but the waterfront is actually very, very nice. It's uh, really nice. Hey, Zach just stopped me here, he lives in going? Hamilton, and uh, he just recognized me. So we're on a quick photograph, and he's just been telling me about some of the stuff down here in Hamilton. I'm gonna ask you a question though. Yes, sir. Does the sewage uh, worry you down here, the sewage? I'm cleaning out my jet ski every single time. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. As soon as I get home, it's just wash Literally. the thing. You gotta, yeah, yeah. Good advice, I'll be doing that when I get home. Thanks, Zach.
a nice feeling, it's kind of weird. Um, when people recognize you, <laughs> it's, I don't know. I kind of get proud of myself for doing what I've done over the years. Uh, and most people that come up to me are being really, really positive, just acknowledging that. Saying they like the videos, they love watching them and stuff like that, or it's encouraged them to do something. And I think that's been the same for many of us who do these videos on YouTube, like uh, myself, Mark, Bob, and a few others out there. Um, we've gained ourselves quite a bit of a following. And uh, people like talking to us and just stopping us when they find us and having a little chat. It's rare I put anyone on video because I don't usually like to ask them, but Zach just asked me for a selfie so he could put me in and send it to his face. So I thought in that case, I'm gonna ask Zach a question on camera. So it <laughs> works both ways. So anyway, while we're here speaking of that, I'm right downtown Hamilton now, look. So from this angle, Hamilton looks really, really nice. At the waterfront, it's hard to believe I mean, I've been downtown Hamilton so many times. And when I first came down here two years ago on the jet ski, on the sea Dew, I never knew this was here. And I was blown away, and I'm still blown away right now that literally you go like 500 meters inland. It's a different landscape altogether. It really is. beach. Thankfully there's no one on it, so maybe they've got it closed for safety reasons. But it's gross. Right, right down here by West Harbour now, uh, the train station. There's a go train just over there, behind those other ones. Oh, this is all closed off. We've got some rowing event going on. Now I see all the, uh, uh, the buoys out, all the boys. Well, yeah, they've got some rowing event taking place here this weekend. So I'll stay out of their way. back now to a Lake Erie, but before I put it in Lake Erie, we're going to wash the bugger off, get all the germs off it, so uh, hope time we go, and uh, I'll see you when I get home. Whoa, 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 there's a huge, there's a huge ship coming in, uh, it looks like a salty by the front of it. Watch this come in and uh, we're done. Wow! Look at the size of that thing! Unbelievable! I'm just a mere dwarf in comparison. A mere dwarf. Look at it, that thing is huge. Look at that, if I get damaged.
Wow, what a way to end a great uh, ride around Hamilton. It's a beautiful ship. Johanna registered in Portugal, well, Madeira, which is a Portuguese island. All right, let's go and watch the sea do. feet wet but there it goes oh my god it's fucking gross Ew, my foot went in the poop <laughs> that was nasty <laughs> right Until the next time. See you all soon. I think I missed a bit.